Hey everyone, and welcome back. I'm Anton, and welcome to the Game Room Tour 2023. It's been quite a while since I've done the last one. I think it's been, no, wait, let me see. Oh, yeah, it's been two years. Yeah, I didn't really have much to show off during that time, so I'm finally ready to showcase the updated Game Room in 2023. So anyways, I'm Anton, and let's get started. Let's start by taking a look at my Game Boy shelf. I've managed to collect over 200 Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Keeping track of them can be a bit overwhelming, which is why I use a spreadsheet to organize them all. For Mario, Kirby, and Pokemon, all of the classics are here. And you may also spot some rare titles. I've managed to add quite the amount of games since the last Game Room Tour, and I'm always looking to add more to the collection. On the next shelf, you'll find a variety of gaming systems and classic games. The top section features boxes that house the Wii Mini, SNES and NES Classic, and Special Edition Nintendo Switch systems. Just below that, my entire Game Boy handheld collection is on display. You'll also see the Switch Lite and some other Special Editions. And also shout out to Warp Zone for making these really nifty 3D printed stands. They look great! Continuing down the shelf, you'll see all of my boxed Nintendo 64 and SNES games, as well as my Virtual Boy games on a custom stand. These have gotten quite expensive in recent years, and I'm almost at the point of having all North American released games. Beneath that, you'll find all of my boxed Virtual Boy and Game Boy games, spanning all generations, and a few other cool items such as the N64 controller packs and the Wii Zapper. On the shelf below, you'll find my collection of N64 and SNES games. I have most of the popular N64 titles, but my SNES collection is still a work in progress. In the center of the shelf sits the rest of my Game Boy accessories including the battery pack and printer. The next shelf is filled entirely with NES games. From classic titles to hidden gems, there's quite a lot here. Lastly, on the bottom shelf, you'll find an assortment of collectibles, including my ColecoVision, Atari 2600, Genesis, and Panasonic 3DO games. Moving on from the shelves, we've got a collection of Grid Studio Shadow Box displays. These displays add so much to the room and showcase the various Game Boy System's components. I'd like to give a big thanks to everyone at Grid Studio for sending these amazing pieces my way. Check out the site through my affiliate link down below, as they have a wide range of products covering different handhelds and controllers. But it should be noted that the shelves may not be authentic. To the left of these displays, you'll find my console shelf, which houses many systems, such as the Dreamcast, PS2, and PS3. I've also got some other special editions and versions of certain consoles, like the Wii Mini and Great Fantastic N64 Edition. To the left sits another large shelf that I've added recently. Some longtime viewers may recognize it from some of my past Game Room tours. On the top, I've got more modern Nintendo handheld boxes. And in the center, one of my favorite new additions to the room is the Tavoom Pixu 64. It's a 10.3 inch Wi-Fi pixel art display frame with a 64x64 64 64 LED panel. By connecting it with your device, you can use the app to display all sorts of animations and pixel artwork. And it has a bunch of cool features that take advantage of the app such as social media account status, gaming stats, the weather forecast, and much more. Devoom kindly sent it my way, and it's been really cool to display all sorts of Nintendo and gaming-related animations. I even made my own anti-retro icon for it, and it looks great. If you are interested, be sure to check out the link in the description. And also, Devoom has a wide range of different displays, so I recommend checking them out in case you are looking for something much smaller. Let's continue down the shelf. Starting with my growing 3DS and DS game collections, as well as the accompanying systems. My new Nintendo 3DS XL is not on this shelf, as it's closer to my desk setup, and you'll see why. The next shelf below is home to my GameCube and Wii games. I've managed to build up the GameCube collection quite a bit recently, even obtaining all the Mari Party games. The Wii game collection is strong too, with many first party titles. The next shelf below has my entire physical Nintendo Switch and Wii U game collections. I put all of my Switch games into this case for convenience, but the cases all go here because, well, they look nice on the shelf. At the bottom of the shelf, you'll find my complete inbox NES action set, as well as my Game Boy binder tucked in the corner, which houses all of my Game Boy Advance games. And well, that concludes this shelf. Now let's move on to the main wall that you'll find right when you walk into the room. And this is where you'll find my main home consoles, all housed in a unit. The HD LG TV provides a clear and crisp image for all of my gaming needs. But what makes this setup really stand out is the combination of the Nintendo neon sign and all of the RGB lights in the unit. 
The unit houses all of my main systems, including the NES, SNES, Smoke Ray N64, GameCube with the Game Boy Player add-on, Original Genesis with 32X, the Panasonic 3DO, the original Xbox, and then the original PlayStation. And situated on each side of my TV are my edifier speakers and some other boxes. I've also got a switcher set up to change which console is connected. Close to the ceiling, you'll find all major Nintendo system boxes. And in the corner, you'll find a cool Game Boy shelf side panel. Moving on, we've got the glass case, which holds some really cool items. On the top, we've got Mario holding a special edition Mario Nintendo DS Lite, although it has seen better days. Below that, you'll find my Virtual Boy in excellent condition. Below that, I have a Game Boy complete in box, a collection of Game & Watch boxes, and a Donkey Kong Coleco tabletop. On the next shelf, I have my Power Glove with its original box, Rob with gyros, and on the bottom, I have my entire Game & Watch collection. And in the corner is a Mario McDonald's display. So let's move on to my desk setup. Let's begin with the narrow shelf. This houses my collection of amiibos, my Unreal Air glasses, the analog pocket, and a few other items. Beside that is my desk, where all the action happens. I have two ViewSonic 144Hz monitors, which are perfect for gaming and streaming. On my desk, you'll find a variety of HD consoles, few of which are connected to my Elgato HD60S capture card through a splitter. Then connected to the capture card is a long HDMI cable that is connected to my TV. This way, I have my HD consoles beside my computer for streaming and capturing gameplay, while also allowing those consoles to be displayed to my TV. And overall, the setup works really well. My Wii is fully customized with ROM hacks, apps, custom channels, Wiimify, and much more. If you want to learn more about it, check out this video in the description down below. And here's where I keep my new Nintendo 3DS XL, which is packed with all sorts of games, ROM hacks, and apps. I'm planning on making a video going over it in depth, so hopefully you stay tuned for that. My Nintendo Switch features a custom Donk Suck cover from Active Patch and a collection of digital titles. I'm planning to mod my Wii U this year. Hopefully that will give it some extra use. The desk also features a light overhead that in combination with the phone arm stand allows me to record items and handheld systems. Beneath the desk, you'll find my NZXT pre-built gaming PC. It's a powerful machine that can handle anything I throw at it. Upgrading to a PC was something that I had been waiting for a while to do, as I was running into countless issues with my previous computer. Having two monitors is also a huge game changer. And also under my desk is a convenient drawer that houses all my controllers and other miscellaneous cables. In terms of my microphone setup, I recently upgraded to a Shure MV7 mic after running into countless issues with my previous equipment. The road stand is also very helpful. Above my desk setup is a shelf that has a bunch of cool items including this epic Bowser ship. Finally, we have my gaming chair. It's comfortable and supportive, perfect for those long editing sessions. And on my door is a GameStop poster for Luigi's Mansion 3. Well, that's it. That's the entire room. As you can see, there have been many additions and changes throughout the past year or so. And remember, all the links to my featured products and equipment will be in the description. But anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to see future videos heading your way. Thank you so much for your continued support, and I can't wait to bring you guys more videos in 2023. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.